In one small example in this video, I'm going to prove to you how they've hidden good health from us. Hidden good health and, of course, their attempt to bring in disease as much as possible. The purpose of this video is to use the comments section. That's the number one reason for this video, the comment section, to share with the group what you do or your best recommendation for good health. Hey guys, it's Matt. Uh, since I got up pretty early this morning, I've been researching the Spanish flu of 1918. My great-grandfather died of it, uh, which put my grandfather into Girard College in Philadelphia. It was one of the worst cities for it. And um, that is not what this video is about, but I came across something in doing my research that I find just amazing, and it got me thinking that, you know, if this system is going to hide good health from us, wants us in a state of fear, worry, sickness, disease, normalization of disease, normalization that, oh, just everybody's going to get cancer, of course, just habituating everybody to that, um, then we have, you know, one of the smartest groups here anywhere in the commenters. So we're going to use this video to comment on if you just had one recommendation for health or good health what would you tell the group and not that you could recommend anything to anybody this is of course what you do for yourself we don't want to be taken down um, so I was researching Spanish flu watching all these old people talk about it who lived through it and that will be part of the video coming up so in the comments I'll leave you you know one of the older people gave an incredible tip that's coming up in just a moment. So hear me out and withhold your comment maybe till the end. This is a short video. And my mother's would take a half a teaspoonful of soda <clears throat> and put it in a, a glass of water for each of us, my twin brothers, and for me. And we would drink that before breakfast. I've often thought that that's what saved us. She said that that soda would neutralize the system and we would be less subject to pick up the germ. It must have worked because we were the only family in entire family that escaped having that dreadful flu. Now, I think that's incredible. And it actually proves they've been hiding good health from us. This is a woman reflecting on how everybody was dying around her in the Spanish flu of 1918. Not sure when they interviewed her. A lot of these people they interviewed in the 80s and 90s, and they were, you know, pushing 100 years old. And she says that her mother knew about the fact that the body needs to be kept alkaline, not acidic. Her mother, born in the 1800s, knew, she says, soda, baking soda. She says, soda, a half teaspoon of soda, she says. Not Matt's recommendation, because I'm not allowed to do that in the Big Brother system. Just playing what she said. Her mother knew. Now, what's so amazing about this is, just now, people are starting to talk about the need to keep the body alkaline. An alkaline body fights disease. Even some people would say, major diseases you know like like the big one um, you know uh, so 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 her mother knew this in the late 1800s and this this proves by itself they've kept good health from us because there should have been a hundred years of hardcore research as to how does an alkaline body present prevent disease and how can we make the body into the perfect alkaline state you don't hear that from medical science to go back to an old woman who is now dead quoting her mother her dead mother who was born roughly in 1890 we have to go back to that for good health so this is all about the comment section if you could leave the number one thing or number two things you do for yourself not that anybody we certainly don't have the a license to make any recommendations to anybody this is what we do for ourselves 
That's the way we have to position it to Google, what we do for ourselves. And any other comment not along these lines, I will have to remove. I have to keep the, the comment section focused. So uh, you know that uh, TMF has re recently recommended, via his channel, recommended oil of oregano. Um, my submission would be to trust that woman and to trust her mother from the 1800s. Uh, speak with someone uh, in South Carolina. Uh, spoke to somebody recently in South Carolina that recommends uh, what they do for their family is if there's a super high fever for a child, a vinegar, regular vinegar sponge bath. A vinegar sponge bath. I don't think it has to be... Um, you know, um, like a brag, or a, that's an apple cider vinegar. So, guys, um, this really gets me thinking about all the old remedies that we've heard. You know, the old movies will talk about things like castor oil, and I think, you know, I think, guess what? That's where it's at. They knew what they were doing. What we find as we look at history is, in many ways, the uh, history, the folks that lived through what we call our past knew a whole lot more about a lot of things than we give them credit for, you know, leaving the architecture aside. So I'm going to go back and look at castor oil. I'm going to go back and try to figure out why did that slogan come about, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. If that slogan or something like that has survived through history, then it's a truth drop. It's there for a reason. And um, we should. I'm going to spend a lot of time uh, doing that sort of research uh, going forward. Came across this the other day. Not terribly related to what we're talking about, but yep, every single eye is covered. Really? Like we're not all sick of that at this point. This will pan down to the little girl that has her eye covered. Um, but this is the creepy, you know, reality we're up against no matter what it exactly is. Uh, related to the purpose of this video, no matter what's happening out our window with this, this, oh, I almost said global. I almost said global drill. Oh, my God. And then they would get all over me for suggesting the shape of the earth when I'm just about, you know, communicating another idea here. And we will tend to use words and phrases that we've used our whole lives. But I'm so sorry. I apologize to those I almost offended by saying a global uh, exercise. You know, those comments are so appropriate when I say something like that, aren't they? Um, you know, come on, man. So, um, again, uh, whatever's happening with this exercise or however real it is, let's just, we're tired of waiting around. Let's stay, Let's take our own health back. And no, in the last video or whatever, I, uh, Eric Logos or whatever, I didn't say I wanted to just go jump off a bridge. I said I want to live my life to the fullest. But if somebody came with a magic pill and said, Matt, do you want another 50 years? No, I don't. I want out of here after a long life of learning. You know, people commenting saying, well, why don't you just kill yourself now? That's not what I said. Damn. Um... Anyway, guys, um, so let's let's share uh, what we do for ourselves, because we could never make we could never make a medical recommendation to others. It's we share what we do for ourselves, so we're we're staying within the confines of what Big Brother allows us to do. And we're 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 saying what we do for ourselves. Nobody should do what we write about. You know, that's not we don't have the license to do that to make any sort of health recommendation. You have to go to med school for that. But there's no doubt, you know, they have cure for cancer most cancers they have a cure now most diseases they have a cure now but cures don't make anybody any money so it'll you know only share with us a cure maybe when maybe people at some point you know they might another hundred years might go by and say you know we haven't had a cure for anything and now since uh you know since uh i don't know the mid 50s and, and then maybe they'll have to release a cure for something just to make it look like like it's a legitimate system that they live in, um, but you know that the a dead person and a cured person doesn't make anybody any money. So the cures don't come. But but just like the old woman hinted, the old people knew. They knew. They they just you know as we go back through time, people seem in in many ways 
and leaving the architecture aside, in many ways they were smarter than we are today. So, you know, what are the old wives' tales in terms of good health? What, what did your grandmother say? What do you do? Um, you know, let's share that in the comments. And there's no doubt that they have, they understand how to put the human body, the human avatar into almost a perfect state to ward off even the most dread of dread diseases. I don't think it'll be perfect. Things happen. But um, I believe most disease, I mean, they've, they've known, you know, the, the old woman has the remedy. That, the old woman's mother from the late 800 knows to keep the body alkaline. And the highest level of medical science of these people are actually working on our side could have been studying it for a hundred years. And they would have the formula today on how to put the body in the perfect state to ward off disease. Proves right there that they just simply don't want to.